Hello, I'm Amanda Tuke. I'm a nature writer and blogger based in South London. I think there are three really good reasons why London councils should have a completely different attitude to weeds. Number one, to support biodiversity. The wild and naturalised plants growing on pavements and verges support a diverse range of insects. Insect populations are in decline and councils need to do what they can to address this. Number two, to save stretched council budgets. If pavement plants and verges were valued, less mowing and weed control would be needed. That would save money and since Covid funds are really stretched. Number three, to prioritise the health of residents, council workers and the environment. If pavement plants and verges were valued, the use of weed killers could be much reduced. There are still concerns about the safety of commonly used weed killers like glyphosate, so councils should apply the precautionary principle and use little or none. Some councils are already taking action. A month ago, I asked London councils about their policies on weed management. 23 have replied so far, and you can find their responses on my blog, www.freelancenaturewriter.com. Hammersmith and Fulham took the precautionary approach in 2016 <clears throat> and banned use of glyphosate on council-maintained land, replacing it with foam and hot water treatment. Westminster only uses weed killer for specific problems and used less than 10 litres of glyphosate over the last three years. Hackney doesn't use weed killer on tree pits and encourages residents to create tree pit gardens. It's also trialling a weed spray exclusion zone initially 22 streets and being expanded to 70 streets. Haringey is piloting a herbicide free area with a community group who will contribute hand weeding. Lambeth runs a scheme in which streets can opt out of weed control if they take on weed management themselves. So what can you do? Complain to your council about unnecessary mowing or use of weed killers. Contact the councillors responsible for weed management and tell them your views. You can find out who they are on my blog. Use your local networks and get in touch with local groups to find others who share your views and as a group lobby your council at least 12 months before weed management contracts are renewed. Together we can make a difference for London National Park City. Thank you.